Welcome guys to Dogs of War YouTube channel. Um, today we have a X-Wing tournament. Um, commentary, you have me, Jesus, and... Uh, Josh. Josh. And here we have Josh to your left. Yep, that's me. Playing in Imperial Force. Yep, I got uh, the uh, TIE Phantom with out, out maneuver, advanced sensors, <coughs> and advanced cloaking device. Along with two... Uh, Academy pilots and two uh, pilot skill one. Um, what the hell? Are you just <laughs> I decided to do something really funky and weird with my first maneuver. St try and stay as far away from the uh, rebels. Um, this is my first time flying Echo, uh, uh, which is my Phantom. So, to the right you have Wendy, uh, she's playing Rebels, she's playing two Y-Wings, Gold Squadron pilots, two X-Wing Rebel rookie pilots, and one B-Wing Blue Squadron pilots. Yeah. No upgrades, just a ton of hit points. And a ton of attack dice. Yeah. Um, so, it's kind of an Echo uh, mini swarm for me, and what we've been seeing a lot of, at least at this door is a a rebel swarm tactic um, it's very difficult to deal with but people have had great success with it I'm just moving forward cloak in so is there you want echo to come sneak from the back or to the asteroids yeah that's that's my plan with uh, uh, Echo is to just kind of... And... Josh has been using the wrong templates. <laughs> yeah. He, he plays Star Trek and he plays um, D&D Attack Wing, so... He's been using the Star Trek um, templates and they're different. Which, Which kind of disqualifies me from the tournament, but fortunately I won last place in the tournament anyway, so... Uh, I didn't get much out of it. But I'll give you credit. And last tournament we did, um, we forgot to record. Yeah. But Josh <laughs> used the correct templates, and um, he proceeded to win the whole tournament. What was the list you were playing in that one? Uh, that one I was playing Wedge with Push to Limits and an R2 Astromech with three B-Wings. Yep. And you didn't lose a single game? Nope. Oh. I... Uh, I tabled two people and won my second game by a point. Oh, wow. That was a close one. <coughs> but so here I'm thinking about cutting into the asteroid belt uh, to kind of make it difficult for Wendy to actually get some solid shots on. Unfortunately, I hit an asteroid and immediately take damage. Yep. That's some things that the Imperial TIE Fighters do. Oh, yeah. They love those asteroids. And then just focusing up my dudes here, bumping into things, because that's what we like to do. Really should have taken a hard one or a hard three with that interceptor, but... You know. And the rebels are doing their rebel thing, and there I am Josh being astonished is. by the one forward. Yeah, Wendy doesn't like to commit very early. But she wins a lot of our tournaments, so Wendy's mm. a really good player. Oh, and I was mind blown by the B Wing going two forward. And then we still got just one forwards with the Y wings, because why not? I guess. And now the fun part of where the heck Echo is gonna go. Oh. I guess we're just double checking the uh, ranges. Rar. Use my uh, stealth to do that. And 
this is where I am without my action. <coughs> I take my barrel roll to go back, so Y wings don't have any shots at me. I am you only right can recloak. in cloak. That takes an action. As long as I attack at something, I recloak. Oh, okay. Um, because it's the advanced cloaking device. So I'm taking the range three shot at the B wing. With three hit results, which is actually pretty awesome. Um, and it was range two, so no defense dice were rolled because of outmaneuver on on a uh, echo. So if I'm firing at a ship outside of their firing arc, they reduce their agility by one. So three dam or yeah, three damage. To be wings. And the dice app for all the dice lovers. Dice app lovers. Yep, and we got some B wings taking some pot shots at that. One dodge, or one attack. Would have been an extra dodge, but she forgot it. And an extra point of damage. All right, so my echo is going to have a pretty eventful turn. Uh, what, do you do, what do you do with your echo here? You don't want to get too forward. Um, I'm going to be using the stealth, uh, the decloak, to uh, on my side to try and get behind those Y wings. Y -wings. Um, the problem is my maneuver afterwards is going to be pretty tricky. Um, Echo is just fun to fly. It, it's really fun. I, I need more games with Echo. It's before. hard to master, but man, he's such. And what's hard about uh, this particular game with my Echo is because I've been using the wrong templates. My perception of where he can actually go is way off, and it just threw me off for the rest of the game. Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I should be going, planning on trying to get behind those Y wings, at least try to bump into that hind Y wing, and shoot at the forward Y wing just so I get Ooh. a bunch of damage. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. I'm K turning here, because I'm expecting a little bit more commitment from the from rebel London. forces, and I'm hard turning, perfectly not on the asteroid. How fun is when you see this, like, she's seen all your movements now. You're like, she goes, yeah, I didn't do that. <laughs> and you fell for my trap. <laughs> so I'm getting ready for the B-Wing to just fly right in the middle of that. Oh, so you're focusing on the B-Wing? Yeah. I've done the most damage to the B-Wing, so I want to try and take it out as soon as possible. Fort unfortunately, though, she bumps into one of my... Interceptors, which is one of my highest attack ships. Uh, the X-Wings just moving right along. So the X-Wings have a shot on that TIE Fighter that did the K-turn. So that's not a... Yeah, that, the that, that's a very... Oh, the, K, the, the TIE Fighter can shoot at the, the B-Wing. The TIE Fighter can shoot at the B-Wing, which yeah. is nice, but... It was it's, and it's an it's a pretty terrible position for every other ship. So now the fun part, I'm decloaking, going behind there. My action is to focus and then going. Oh no! Uh. Yep. And of course, I take a point of damage from the asteroid. Um, Couldn't you move like a one forward? The Phantom does not have a one forward. Oh wow! the The best result I should have I could have taken here was a two forward. Either be in front of that Y wing right there, or at best result bump into it. Um, I think you of, can't do nothing. I think in that instance as well, instead of focusing, 
I should have barrel rolled behind the Y wings, so I know I was gonna just bump into the Y wings. Because mm. now my Echo's at its most vulnerable instance. Yeah, that was a play mistake. Yep. Uh, that was the do an extra damage if if uh, I roll a hit result, which I didn't, so I didn't take an extra point of damage. We're looking at trying to get range 2 with the Y-Wing onto the TIE Fighter to dodge results. So TIE Fighter still okay. The other Y-Wing... Focusing for two. Nothing. <laughs> and the TIE Fighter goes down. Three dice with blank results. It was not destined, Academy Pilot. It's okay. You did the wrong maneuver, Pilot. You deserve <laughs> to die. <laughs> so now we got... I thought that didn't look at you rolled them. <laughs> <laughs> He was like, <laughs> it, I was I was very anxious to try and destroy something. Uh, so now the interceptor at the B wing, three dice results. Why not for a B wing death? So there's that, which is nice. My last shot from the academy. Oh, my inter my uh, TIE Fighter destroyed the B-Wing. Now my Interceptor's taking a shot at the B-Wing. Or the, excuse me, Y-Wing. -wing. Wow, there's a lot of wings out there. So now we're going into a new turn. Which... Not bad. You lost a cannon pilot. 11 points compared uh, 12. to... 12 to, 12 to a 22 point yeah uh, so B -wing. you you're up, up ahead on points as long as um, the echo doesn't keep you know messing up yeah that's my problem right now I've also suffered two damage from asteroids as yeah. well so my my squadron's a little bit weaker. And echoes your big hitter so yeah me losing that echo shot really could have helped a lot um, so echo it's really just going to be a hard one into the fight. I just need to try and get some a, a shot. He's shooting first, so he'll be able to recloak. I'm doing a bunch of K turns here, anticipation of hopefully Wendy seeing that I'd be going forward and rather than. The hell is that? <laughs> oh damn! Get right that there. just perfect. Hugging there from my interceptor. And doing a hard two. She makes it though. Yep. So she's going to focus and she can shoot at that interceptor, which is really good for her. Bumping into the TIE fighter. No B wings, I'm going to guess, are just going to go forward one. Oh! Gonna try and turn. So big cluster. The bumps too. And yep. bumping, bumping. So that that interceptor wow, is very very safe from those Y wings right now. And uh. My echo bumped into the same interceptor. Also, you can't decloak. You can't. I won't be able to take an action, but because I bumped in the maneuver dial phase, I can take a free action in the combat phase. Um, so as long uh, echo will be taking a shot at a of uh, the damaged Y wing. Or, excuse me, shooting at the X-Wing directly in front of it due to damage with the evasion results. So that X-Wing doesn't have a 
any shields. Unfortunately, Echo is now in prime target of... Uh, uh, we had a little debate on whether Echo would be able to cloak or not because my activation step was skipped in the maneuver phase because I bumped into something. If I were able to take a free action of the cloak during the combat phase. Well, we said yeah. And it was ruled as yes uh, because I am not an on I'm not on an asteroid or have stress. So those are the only consistent factors that would prevent some someone or something from performing a free action. If anybody has any comments about that, just um, post it in the comments. If we did, if we did the rules wrong or if anybody knows the you mm -hmm. know, where we could find the ruling on it. So, but that's the ruling we did in the tournament. So, so the first Y wing shoots at. Uh, Phantom and uh, she's concentrating on this that Phantom. Oh yeah, you ha right now she has three, she has all four ships able to fire at it. So, trying Ooh. to take down my biggest damage dealing. Oh, ship. she yeah. did, which and she did it with three of her ships. So, she even has another one to try and take out my other interceptor. So it's not looking good for me at all right now. I don't know. You have that. You have a couple of ships. That one ship all messed up. So I have you a, take that a Y wing that has, I think, one shield left, and an X wing that has, well, two damage. Oh, one more. <laughs> and I'm gonna. Unfortunately, it's not at the same X wing. Uh, I was able to knock it down to one health. So I'm retaliating with the best of my abilities, unfortunately. Now I'm not in a very good position. Um, my academy pilot can go a two forward and probably make it past my interceptor, which I really don't want to do, but I have to clear that stress. The... Interceptors that's facing Wendy right now is going to K turn. The interceptor that K turned last turn, who knows? We're moving my interceptor out of the way so I can uh, soft two out of there to remove stress. And right now I'm trying to contemplate what to do with him, which I take the evade action. Going there. This guy, it, he's just leaving. He's going four forward, which is actually a green action for him. Oh, nice. Um, so... Just gonna boost. Probably should have boosted forward if I was gonna do that. Because now I'm kind of in the way of the asteroid, but. So the Ys are dedicating to the, the interceptor where. The rest of her squadron are still following that pattern. So my my interceptor that's in the rear there is actually in a very good position. Yes. Um, I was happy to do the evasion action with my TIE fighter. Uh, he, She's currently shooting at the interceptor. Two dice. I got... Damn, interceptor. One Interceptors. Champs. He's dodging like a monkey. Doing the range one shot at the TIE fighter. And I fortunately because I... Yeah. Fortunately because I took the evasion action, he doesn't take any damage. 
but the Interceptor takes some damage from the far uh, X-Wing, which destroys it. Because that was the Interceptor that bumped into the asteroid earlier. Yeah. See, it, the hit he took from um, Echo, the hit from the Interceptor from the asteroids really cost you. Yep. They would have both been still here. I was fortunately able to pick off that damaged X-Wing, though. Which I destroyed two <laughs> ships, so <coughs> I, I was very happy with that. A total of uh, 43 points for my almost entire list. So there the was that. not that bad. <laughs> it's just you know, there was some errors. There was piloting mistakes, that's yeah. for sure. We do, we do do a lot of tournaments here at the store for X-Wing. Mm -hmm. um, we just can't get everybody to show up for casual play. Yeah. Unfortunately, you know, there's not a lot of practice. So the regard. practice we we get is the tournaments, which mm -hmm. is not bad because you're playing at the you know highest level. Not a yeah, you, when you do those, uh, when you when you show up for the tournaments, you're getting the most out of your experience. But yeah. if you're not adjusted to that style of play of tournament, then it's still very stressful for you. So the Y wings are going to K turn, the X wing is going to K turn, and my Tie Fighter is looking the wrong direction. <laughs> Ooh, that's not good for you. Yep, and my Tie Fighter had to do a barrel roll. Uh, she shoots and, before you. Yep, that's another bad deal. So the X-Wing, lining up the shots. She whiffs. Uh, she whiffs because she's stressed so didn't have a focus. Have one for the one hit. And then the last result, I got two to her two or one hit. So the Interceptor lives another turn to rebuttal and take oh. the two shields off of the X-Wing. I thought you were going to lose that at the type for the Interceptor. Fortunately, with three agility dice, um, doesn't necessarily give me a guarantee, but it increases my probabilities against these high attack yeah. ships. I was very fortunate to have two ships shooting at me at range three. So I do a K-turn here so that I can hopefully line up my shot on the X-Wing which does go too yeah. forward so perfect in that circumstance and the Y-Wings the first one's bumping into me which is another good, good thing for me I needed to eliminate as many tar uh, ships that could shoot at him that y is gonna hit but the, the second Y-Wing will be able to fire at me Um, so we're shooting at a range band three shot to the TIE fighter, focusing for a bunch of dodge results, which is nice for me. The Y wing onto the interceptor. It looks like th ah, <laughs> it only had one damage left. Had she had two results and I only got one dodge out of it that dude you could have taken that that I needed that X-wing I needed that X-wing in order to or the interceptor to do a bunch of damage to that X-wing so my TIE fighter could have hopefully taken it out yeah um uh kind of skipped my uh Attack from the X uh, Tie Fighter to no, you the did. X. Oh, I did. Yeah, you okay, it. I just whiffed. The suicide. Taking the focus action because uh -oh. I, I was hoping to go uh, forward enough so that that X wing bumps into me. Unfortunately, I missed that cue mm -hmm. by a uh, one maneuver. You got the Mexican futuristic in space standoff. <laughs> 
But and he has buddies. <laughs> this isn't a true Mexican standoff. <laughs> this is the so, Alamo right there. <laughs> it, it, it is, this is the lone academy pilot going against his adversaries. I believe this uh, pilot is at full health or only has one damage on it. Okay, he dodged one attack. One of the attacks were evaded. Focusing for two. I have to focus for one dodge result and take a critical effect, which puts my pilot skill to zero, so no big deal there. And wow, he survived. And I evaded the last shot. Now, the problem is here that I can't K-turn with my TIE Fighter. Why? Because it's going to... Oh, you probably, tried to. I'm going to... I had to do what I had to in that instance to try and... You didn't K-turn, why? Uh, the K turn on a TIE Fighter is a 4, which is um, would have definitely been on top of the Y Wings. So, what's the movement you did? That's a 5 forward. All 5 forward. Which I was fortunate, uh, and I decided since I wasn't stressed before and all that jazz, I took my action. I should have taken it beforehand, but Wendy was kind enough to let me do it um, and that Y-Wing was the only one with a range attack and I dodged it so right now we're playing as fast as we can uh, time was getting close to being called so I did the natural thing and Moved as far away as I could while hopefully opening up a, a firing arc for me. She, uh, Wendy is moving as far forward as she can. No worry about we creating got, stress. And we got the two shots from the Y Wing with all blanks. And a blank. Uh, and, and, I, it, it was three dice base, an asteroid, oh, wow. and uh, and range three on five dice. Blank results. She only got one hit or two hits, which was enough to destroy the academy pilot, which Good was game. the sweet spot. Yep. So, so some piloting errors from me. I need to get used to echoes. Yeah. First of all, use the right templates. Yep, that, that would help. <laughs> um, uh, but that's a mistake anybody can do. You know, you assume since they're based off the same game, they use the same templates. But One would hope, out. but I learned the hard way at this tournament <coughs> that that's not the case. <coughs> and that's my nifty little carrying case. Yeah. There you go. Okay, guys, um, like if you like the video, subscribe if you do, if you haven't. If you have any comments or advice of how to do this better, you're welcome to, to feedback. So just post in the comments. Um, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys later. See you guys.